Dear customers, welcome to buy Cinematch Motor Greater 717H. For your better using experience, we will introduce you the operation and maintenance instructions of Motor Greater 717H in every detail. Cinematch is committed to bringing you the most comfortable working experience and maximum benefits. This video includes following for chapters. Chapter 1 Machine Structure Chapter 2 Safety Instruction Chapter 3 Operational Instruction Chapter 4 Maintenance Instruction Chapter 1 Machine Structure
Chapter to Safety Instruction Lifting Point of the Front Frame Lifting Point of the Rear Frame Please make sure the front and rear frame are locked when the machine is under servicing, lifting or transporting. Do not stay at the area where around the front frame and the hinge area of the front and rear frames after starting. Keep a safe distance from the back of the grater to avoid collision accidents. For safety, please fix the retainer plate relative to the tie rod by the bolt to avoid the front tire swinging. When transporting the machine or replacing the front tires, the bolt should be returned when the machine is in normal working condition. Do not open the hydraulic tank cap and the drain plug when the oil is in high temperature or the engine is running. The cap should be opened slowly to release air pressure in the tank. Keep your hands off the rotating fan to avoid shearing hazard. Do not open the coolant tank cap until the engine has stopped or the coolant is in high temperature. The cap should be opened slowly to release air pressure in the tank. The run-in period of new machine is very important to the performance and life of the machine. Please make sure to read the new machine run-in notice carefully in safety operation. Manual. Starting engine is only allowed in neutral gear position. Must stop driving before changing direction when you want to shift into forward or reverse. In order to ensure that the speed drops smoothly, the gear must be shifted step by step when slow down the driving speed. Inspecting the transmission oil level after starting the engine. Do not using the frame hinge steering when the machine is moving normally. And make sure the front and the rear frame has been locked when the machine is in transit. Operation of working joysticks are not allowed at non-working state while driving. It's forbidden that taxing in the neutral gear position when machine is in uphill or downhill. Please turn the ignition key to the power off position after the engine has been off for five minutes. What you need to confirm before leaving the cabin. The gear selector handle should be in neutral position. The parking brake lever is in holding state. The working attachments is placed on the ground and lock the console. Please make sure that all information above is confirmed before starting and shutting off. Please turn off this main power switch for power cutoff after work. Please also turn off this main power switch during machine transportation, inspection and servicing. Please get the details about transport of the grader from the safety operation manual. Please transport the grader with a low trailer if the distance is more than 200 kilometers. Please keep moderate speed with driving. It's the best choice that the maximum engine rotate speed is 70% of full engine speed. Please take a rest after every one subtract 1.5 hours of driving and pay attention to the oil temperature, water temperature, oil pressure, and other information on the dashboard during driving. Chapter 3 Operational Instruction Inspection Before Starting Check the grater carefully for signs of oil and water leaks. Special attention should be paid to high pressure pipe joints and oil cylinders. Visually check whether the bolts and nuts are tightened. It must be tightened if it is loose. Special attention should be paid to whether the connecting bolts Nuts and clamps of the air filter and silencer are loose. Check and add coolant and remove the radiator cap above the back of the grater. Keep the coolant level within 10 or I 15 below the bottom of the filling port. Check the engine oil level. The oil level for cold engine should be close to the H marking line. And that for hot engine should be close to the L marking line. Check fuel level. Visually inspect the air filter's dust indicator. When the air filter element is blocked, the mark of the dust indicator will be in the red area. Check that all working joysticks are in the stop position. Check whether the gear selector lever is in neutral position. It is impossible to start the engine if the gear selector lever is not in the neutral position. Starting. Turn the main power switch to the on position. Place the hand throttle lever in the idle position. When starting the engine, turn the key to the starting position. Release the key immediately after the engine is running. 
and it will automatically return to the on position. The key should not be in the starting position for more than 20 seconds. If the engine is not running, stop for 2 minutes before starting again. Do not operate the grater immediately after the engine has started. The first step is to perform the following operations and checks. Pull the throttle lever and let the engine run at medium speed without load for about 3rd to 5th minutes. Check whether the transmission oil quantity is normal. Check the oil level of the transmission dipstick. And the height of the oil level should be between the L and H dipstick. Check whether the exhaust smoke color of the engine is normal. And whether the engine has abnormal noise and vibration. Meter inspection. Low oil pressure alarm light. If the alarm light goes out after starting, it means the oil pressure is normal. If the red alarm light is on, it indicates that the oil pressure is low. And it is necessary to check and troubleshoot before working. Battery charging indicator light. If the alarm light goes out after starting, it indicates normal charging. If the indicator light indicates that the charging is not normal, it is necessary to check and troubleshoot before working. Left turn indicator and right turn indicator. The indicator light will light when the steering lever is in the left or right. Turn position. Transmission pressure alarm light. If the alarm light goes out after starting, it means that the transmission pressure is normal. If the indicator light indicates that the transmission pressure is low, it is necessary to check and troubleshoot before working. Service brake light. When using foot brake, the indicator light will be on. Parking brake indicator light. When using the parking brake, the indicator light will be on. Fuel level gauge. Shows the fuel level of the diesel tank. Engine cooling water temperature gauge. Shows the temperature of engine cooling water. At work, the pointer is in the green area. Indicating that the temperature is normal. When the pointer is in the red zone, stop working and run the engine at medium speed until the pointer is back in the green zone. Engine chronograph shows the total engine working time as long as the engine is working. Even if the grater is not moving, the chronograph is working. Torque converter oil temperature gauge shows the oil temperature of the torque converter and transmission system at work. The pointer is in the green area, indicating that the temperature is normal. When the pointer is in the red zone, stop working and run the engine at medium speed until the pointer is in the green zone. Driving. Release the parking brake lever and observe whether the parking brake indicator light is off. The ratchet handle of the control console can be turned to tilt the control console toward the driver. Push the working joystick to place the scraper at the minimum propelling angle and lift the scraper completely to the driving position. Put into gear. Push the gear selector lever to the first gear forward and then push it to the higher gear step by step. Acceleration. Release the accelerator pedal partially and move the shift lever to the high speed position. Deceleration. Release the accelerator pedal, reduce the driving speed and move the shift lever to the lower speed position. Note that you can only change one gear at a time when changing gears. Change direction. Always stop when changing directions between forward and backward. Push on the brake. Pedal to slow down and stop the grater. Push the gear lever through the middle position to the gear position. Required in the other direction. And then slowly press down the accelerator pedal and release the brake pedal to start moving the grater. Note that the engine speed should be reduced when change directions. Steering. When driving, the steering is the front wheel hydraulic steering. If necessary, the frame hinge can also be used to bend the steering. Stop. Release the accelerator pedal and press down the brake pedal to stop the grater. Push the gear lever to the neutral position and then pull up the parking brake lever for parking brake. Operation method of working attachment. The joysticks on left side. Blade lifting. Blade side shifting. Power tilting. Blade rotating. Ripper lifting. The joysticks on right side. Traction frame tilt. Steering at the hinge. Front wheel tilting. 
Front dozer lifting. Blade lifting. Hand throttle lever can be used in the operation to adjust the engine speed and output power. Note that this is only allowed in working. When driving, use the gas pedal. Note, when operating the joystick of the working attachment, full attention should be paid to the moving position and the limits of the moving range of the working attachment. Otherwise the working attachment or the hydraulic cylinder may collide with parts and cause damage during operation. Special attention should be paid to the contact points of the following parts not to interfere with the collision. Front wheel with blade. Blade with ladder. Rear wheel with blade. Blade with frame. Adjustment of the lateral extension position of the blade. The installation position of the piston rod of the lateral displacement cylinder of the blade can be changed to adjust the lateral extension length of the blade. The angle between the blade and the center line of the machine body is called the propulsion angle of the blade. In normal shoveling operations, the angle should be set at about 60. When the shovel resistance is large, the soil is hard. The shovel in front of the blade is difficult or pushed to the side. The angle will be reduced. Adjustment of cutting angle of blade. When cutting hard soil, tilt the blade forward appropriately. When the soil is soft, the blade will be tilted back, which will improve the efficiency of the operation. The cutting angle of the blade should be adjusted according to the soil quality. During the specific operation, the standard cutting angle of the blade is 32. Safety device of the blade. A safety pin is installed on the rotary gear ring to avoid accidents of the blade due to abnormal impact load acting on the shovel. In the bulldozing operation, when folding a grater, remove the lock lever on the left side of the grater. The grater can turn from side to side by 26 degrees. Note that when the blade has a push angle, the machine should not bend to avoid hitting the ladder. And pay attention to the distance between the end of the blade and the rear wheel. Adjustment of the ripper. By changing the position of the grooves of the ripper teeth, the teeth can be adjusted to the appropriate working state. When you need to adjust the depth of cutting, method of operation for slope scraping, shift the blade completely to one side so that the slope scraping angle is obtained. Step down the lock pedal of the connecting frame in the cabin. If the positioning pin cannot be pulled out because of the interference of the connecting frame, you could operate the lifting cylinder to make adjustments. Push the piston rod of the right lifting cylinder outward and retract the piston rod of the left lifting cylinder. Turn the connecting frame. When the upper hole in the connecting frame is close to the pin shaft, loosen the locking pedal of the connecting frame and slowly turn the connecting frame until the pin shaft enters the connecting frame hole. By extending the right lifting cylinder and retracting the left one, the desired slope cutting condition is achieved. Noted on shutdown. Allow engine to idle for 5 minutes to cool down before shutdown. Note that if the engine stops suddenly, before it cools down, the service life of the engine will be greatly shortened. Push the working joystick to place the blade at the minimum angle of propulsion, and place the blade completely on the ground. Push the hand throttle lever to the minimum position. Turn off the key switch and the engine stalls. Turn the main power switch to the off position. Long-term parking requirements. Clean the whole machine and keep the machine dry. Remove the wire from the negative end of the battery. Chapter for maintenance instruction. Periodic maintenance for engine air intake system. The dust indicator on the air filter should be checked daily. If the color of viewport is indicated red, it means the air filter is dirty and needs to maintenance immediately. Loosen the clamp bolts. Take out the main air filter element. Clean the ash and dust cover. Blow it to clean up the dust on the filter element with compressed air. From internal to external of the main air filter element. After installing the main filter element. Ease press the button on the dust indicator to reset it. 
It should be noted that must replace the filter element. If the rubber ring on the end cover is broken, the internal filter element that only can be replaced, not cleaned. The filter element cannot be cleaned while the engine is running. Complete filter elements should be replaced in time after five times maintenances. Periodic maintenance for fuel system. Fuel filters and oil water separator needs to be replaced. After the new machine runs for 250 hours. Fuel filters and oil water separator needs to be replaced every 500 hours after first maintenance. It should be noted that drain off the water inside the oil water separator before starting your work every day. Periodic maintenance for engine lubrication system. The first maintenance of the new machine is at 100 working hours and need to replace the engine oil and engine oil filter. The engine oil and oil filter need to be replaced every 250 hours after first maintenance. We recommend you to use the engine oil of Cinematch brand with CD level and above. The engine oil with 15W40 CF4 level is a good choice. If the environment temperature is below minus 15 degrees Celsius, you could use the engine oil with 1040 CF4 level for starting easier and ensure the performance of the engine. The 5W30 SJCF for level engine oil with sufficient low temperature characteristics should be selected if the engine is operating in a freezing area with the temperature below minus 23 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, there's no warm area to parking after the machine gets off work. The capacity of the engine oil sump is 17 liters. Periodic maintenance for transmission system. First maintenance of transmission system is at 100 working hours. The transmission oil and filter should be replaced. Check the transmission oil level every 250 working hours. Thereafter, replace the transmission oil every 500 working hours. The capacity of transmission oil is 28 liters. Periodic maintenance for hydraulic system. First maintenance of hydraulic system is at 250 working hours. Check the hydraulic oil level. The oil inlet filter and the oil return filter need to be replaced. Check the hydraulic oil level every 250 working hours and replace hydraulic oil and filters every 1000 hours thereafter. The capacity of hydraulic oil is 47 liters. Periodic maintenance for driving axle. First maintenance of driving axle is at 250 working hours. The gear oil of axle should be replaced. Check the gear oil level of axle and refilling the gear oil every 250 working hours if necessary. And replace the gear oil of driving axle every 1000 working hours thereafter. The capacity of the gear oil of driving axle is around 15 liters. Inspection of the tandem case. Drain off the gear oil inside tandem case and clean up the impurities from the bottom of the tandem case. Refuel gear oil to the level of the plug on the side of tandem case until the oil overflows from the hole of plug. First, maintenance of tandem case is at 150 working hours. The gear oil of tandem should be replaced. Check the gear oil level of tandem and refilling the gear oil every 250 working hours if necessary. And replace the gear oil of tandem every 1000 working hours. Thereafter, the capacity of the gear oil of each tandem case is around 45 liters. Meanwhile, check the degree of wear of the chain and whether the chain is stretched. Periodic maintenance for brake system. The service brake system is maintenance free and there's no need to adjust. If the machine is parked for a long time or there's some parts of the brake pipeline are replaced, the system enters the air. The air in the brake system pipeline must be exhausted before using the machine. Run the engine so that the accumulator pressure reaches the specified value. Loosen the exhaust plug on the brakes on both sides of the driving axle. Tread the brake pedal repeatedly so that air is discharged from the exhaust plug with the brake fluid. Until the brake fluid discharged from the exhaust plug can be sprayed far away and does not contain air bubbles. Tighten the exhaust plug while pressing the brake pedal to complete exhaust work. Check the parking brake system. Every 250 working hours. 
Tighten the parking brake lever to make sure the machine can be stopped on a 15 degrees slope. Periodic maintenance for cooling system. In the cooling state of the engine, keep the coolant level within 10 or 15 below the bottom of the filling port. To avoid damaging the engine, do not add coolant to an overheating engine. The appropriate coolant freezing point should be about 10 degrees below the local temperature. The coolant needs to be replaced every 1000 zero working hours. The capacity of water tank is around 32 liters. Check the engine fan belt every 250 working hours for tension of belt and degrees of wear of the belt. When pressed by finger, the belt tension should normally bend down to 10. Periodic maintenance for electrical system. Check whether the alternator belt tightness meets the requirements every 250 working hours. Too tight is easy to damage pump bearings. Alternator bearings. To loose will make the engine overheating. Check whether the connector of the central electric control box is loose and whether the fuse is damaged. The specifications of the fuses in the central electric control box are 30, 10, 5 amperes, etc. The specification of the main fuse is 100 amperes. Check the color of the inspection window on the maintenance free battery every 250 working hours. Green means full power. Black means low power and need to charge. Periodic maintenance for air conditioning system. Air conditioning belt tensioning check. With about 98 in pressure, belt drop 8 or 10 is appropriate visual measurement of liquid flow. In the liquid scope of the liquid reservoir, the presence of bubbles indicates insufficient refrigerating liquid. And the absence of bubbles indicates appropriate amount. Periodic maintenance for working attachments and structural parts. Add grease every 50 working hours. Around the rotary gear ring and above the guide rail of the scrape. Add grease every 250 working hours. Two points in tilt cylinder. Two points in tilt rod. Two points in steering rod. Six points in steering shaft knuckle. Four points in steering cylinders. One point in drawing bar joint. Two points in front axles shafts. Four points in reaper rods. Three points in cylinder shaft. Four points in reaper frame. Six points in lifting cylinders. Two points in lifting cylinders joints. 3 points in joint frame, 2 points in drawing bar tilt cylinder joints, 1 point in tilt lock pin, 2 points in articulate pin, 1 point in articulate lock pin, 4 points in articulate steering cylinder, 1 point in cabin door hinge, and engine shell hinges. First maintenance of worm box is at 250 working hours. The gear oil in the worm box need to be replaced. And the gear oil in worm box should be replaced every 1000 zero working hours. Thereafter, the capacity of the gear oil in the worm box is around 3.8 liters. Check the clearance of the guide frame every 500 working hours the minimum clearance of the upper and lower positions is 1.5 plus or minus 0.5 and the average clearance between the guide frame and the pivoting support is one check whether the connecting nut of front ball hinge and tie rod ball hinge of traction frame is loose every 1000 zero working hours if so tighten it again periodic maintenance for drive system Check whether engine anchor bolts, transmission anchor bolts, blade bolts, rear drive shaft connecting bolts, etc. is loose every 50 working hours. Check whether the hub nuts and bolts are loosing every 250 working hours. If so, tightening torque is for 150 Nm. Add grease at 3 points on the drive shaft every 1000 zero working hours. Periodic maintenance of tires. Check 6 tires every 50 working hours at 0.3 ampere pressure to prevent side slip. Check front wheel inclination every 1000 zero working hours. The grader is parked on a level ground, keeping the front wheels from rolling and parallel to the body. Measure the height from the ground to the center of the front axle. Mark the front tire surface as measured above. Measure the distance between the two marks on the left and right tires and get size. A. Drive the grater backward at low speed and stop the grater when the distance from the mark to the ground is equal to the value measured in step 2. 
Measure the distance between the two marks and get size. B. When the value of B minus A is in the range of 5 plus or minus 1. The grader has almost no side slip. If the measured value exceeds the standard value. Adjust the wheel inboard angle using the following procedure. Keep the front axle straight without any incline. Unscrew the nut. Turn the steering lever with a wrench at the square end. Then tighten the lock nut. When the adjustment joint rotates to the left of the machine, the wheel inclination increases. Otherwise, it decreases. When the adjusting joint is rotated by a third of a turn, the wheel side slope changes by 6 m. Keep the front axle straight without any incline. 